Next on Married at First Sight Season 12, Episode 7. Thank God the honeymoon is over. Because I'm re really ready for these couples to go home so Brianna could be little. Um. <clears throat> Uh, Vincent, so he could, what do you say he do? What do you say he, um, have a tantrum, basically. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married to. Yes! Please be sure to thumbs up, share this out if you can. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your love and support with my book. 23,000 guys, you might meet, honey. Vincent is all in here. The, the charlatan is all in here. Let me tell you. You need to get these books on Amazon and, of course, in Christ I am. In my mentoring program. Girl, let me tell you. Episode 6 was hilarious to me. Do you know how many, how much content I have for this week, girl, going forward? Matter of first sight, season, season 12, episode 6. Girl, it was so funny. When Chris said, I'm spiritually attracted to you, girl, I fell out. <laughs> I fell out. But anyway, cousin, uh, the couples are back in Atlanta. They are moving in together. And we see Brianna moving in. And she says, honey, I'm home. And uh, we see uh, Haley and um, Haley and uh, Jacob. And he said, well, he, what did Jacob say? We're not going to be here too long because the way this is going, <laughs> he's hilarious. We see, of course, the two drunkards kissing. Okay, that's all they do is kiss and drink. Face the future together as husband and wife. I don't think we're going to be here too long because the way this is going, I feel like we have two different realities. And it's like, no, yeah, you have actual reality and then hell is bull crap. Woo! Jacob and Haley is going in, honey. I really just think that, that Jacob didn't put Haley's back out because ever since they did the do... He's changed. She's changed towards him. And this is what I mean. Take the cookie off the table. Get to know each other. Because you might have to work some things out in the bedroom. Okay? You might have to work it out. Because that's what couples do. You work it out. If it's not working. If it's you just not have the correct motion to the, your potion. <laughs> you work it out. And you work it out because you have mutual interest, mutual attraction. You've already got to know the person that this person is a sweet person. They're kind. They're in. But if you're just based in the relationship, just on the sex, okay. And so take the cookie off the table. And so Haley's reality is, oh, I want to get married, but now you're married, and it's like, well, I'm not clinging, and I'm not used to being with anybody 24 hours a day, and I'm I'm just this independent, and I just uh, I just this is I'm not ready. This is too much for me. You didn't know this was. A, you've been a bridesmaid 30 times, Haley. All your friends are married except for you. Does any of your friends get married, and when after the honeymoon do they go to separate homes or do they go live together? Because you're talking like you don't know what marriage really is. And it's really starting to bother me, Haley. And you know, I'm starting not to like you too much. Because I really liked you initially. You're one of the only women on the show that I like. But you're starting to make me not like you. And I just don't like that. Because you're 28. You... <sighs> Haley, you're starting to get on my nerves. And I don't like you. Okay, now Pastor Kyle is talking to the two drunkards here. Let's see what he's saying to she's saying to the two drunks. Okay, because you know, all the, the two drunkards do drunk one and drunk two is drink. Okay, uh, drunky Clara, uh, drunky Virginia has turned the pilot out, honey, and now he's an alcoholic. He needs AA too. Two different real hail is reality. <laughs> Ooh, girl, Eric, Eric wants, uh, drunken, drunken number two, Eric, wants drunk number one, drunky number two, okay, we're gonna call Eric the drunkard, and then we gonna call, uh, uh, Virginia the drunky, out card into brother Chris, and hey, she is saying, I think it's just weird you want somebody to text you every time they get, when they get somewhere, 
That's your 26 mind want to be running wild. But I, I, I don't know, honey. When I leave the house, I'm going somewhere. I have to go in the office twice a week. I do text the husband and let him know. I'm, my, I just want to know I got here. Oh, he and he does the same. You know, text, hey, let you know I got to the office. Mm -hmm. When he's flying, hey, I'm on the plane. Hey, I got off the plane. Hey, I'm on my way to the hotel. Hey, I got to my hotel. I, she not ready to drunk. He's not ready to be married. Okay, she not ready. And, and Eric is saying he thinks drunky. AKA Virginia thinks this is more of a boyfriend girlfriend things than a marriage. He right about that. Cause a boyfriend, you don't have to give a record. Or you don't have to communicate where you're going, what you're doing. But when you're married, you need to let your husband know what's going on. Okay. Drunky. Okay. You're not ready to be married. I wish they had they ha I would have liked to see. Uh, Eric with a nice a nice conservative woman not a promiscuous 26 drunk 26 year old so now Pastor Cal is talking to uh, uh, Ryan with his little little Per Mohawk, y'all is saying it's a perm and his 4C beard. And Pastor Cal is asking, well, how is your intimacy going? And Ryan says, well, I've never seen, said the L word. And then uh, Chatty, uh, uh, Clara, what else we said was going on? Mm, crying, Chatty, cl crying, Clara says, well, I don't see that happening. But you know how they piece things together to make us think that's what they're saying, but that's not what they're really saying. I mean, it's too early to be saying the love word, in my opinion. So I don't know what's her big rush, girl. You know, Clara got problems. Clara needs to call me too. Ooh! And then Champagne Vinny, yo, show me some respect. And she's like, Are you serious? And he was like, Yeah, you belittle me. Oh, uh, I told y'all this was going to happen. Champagne Vinny ain't ready to be married. Champagne Vinny needs to go home to his mama. I just asked my husband. I said, Mike, what you think of a guy always talking? Show me respect. Respect me. Show me some respect. He was like, he's not comfortable in his marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay, why did they match Champagne Vinny with the with the very um well accomplished engineer? Every time she opens her mouth, it's going to come out as disrespect because he's not confident in his masculinity, in his manhood, and who he is because he's already half-baked and unaccomplished. So she's going to have to spend the whole marriage walking on eggshell because if she make one little pee, he's going to say, You disrespected me! Poor Bram. Mm, he said, You are belittling me. You belittle me. Oh, he said you belittle me. I keep rewinding because this is so funny. We have actual reality. <laughs> Yo, show me some respect. Are you serious? Yeah. You belittle me. I feel like I don't want to talk about it anymore. And this is what she, ooh, this is what she does. Brianna shuts down, but I think she shuts down because she has a man who's incapable of communicating and always screaming for respect. This is what happened, ladies. Accomplished woman, when you marry unaccomplished men, unprepared, unready, not able to take over the leadership and the protection of your home. And uh, he's always going to be screaming for respect. Though, ladies, if you watch my nine rules of Christian wine, uh, you must respect your husband. Ladies, do not marry a man you do not respect. If you can belittle him, okay, if he's belittable, 
in your eyes, do not marry him because he's always going to scream, stop belittling me, respect me, respect me. And she's going to be like, well, I don't know what else to do. Every time I open my mouth, it comes out as disrespect. But I just think that Brianna should not have been matched with Vinny. And Vinny. Is that his name? Vinny. Though they are the couples that was matched for us to love. I just think that Brianna deserves a whole lot more than Vinny. Champagne. Unaccomplished Vinny. Okay. I think Eric should have gotten him another girl too. And I think... Um, and the rest of them need to just go home. <laughs> go home, okay? They need to just go ahead and go home because none of them is not ready to get married. And forget Chris and Paige, girl. It's just, I just, I just, I, I just don't understand why they are matching these people to fail. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the end of it says. And then there's a voice that says, I am done. And we see Paige walking away. So is that the baby mama or is that Paige saying she's done? Whoo, girl, this is just, mm, this is just too much for my spirit, girl. This is a lot. <clears throat> Vinny says, uh, you disrespect me. Show me some respect. Any man that's just always crying about show me respect, mm, something's wrong with him. He don't need to be married. He need to go ahead on about his business, go to counseling, get him some counseling, get around some real men to teach him how to be man and how to be confident in his manhood because child, Champagne Vinny from the Bronx don't need to be getting married. He ain't ready to be no hoes. All right, girl, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Let you see the snow, darling. See the snow. I'll talk to y'all later. I love you. I think I'm going to go back to bed now. Okay. Remember my, my books on Amazon. Remember my other channel. Please start the Bible in one year. And um, I got my allegedly Janice and this book. And um, anyway, does anybody watch Person? Um, not Person of Interest, The Prodigal Son. Oh my God, I love that show. I fell asleep watching it last night, but I'm going to um get back on it and, and watch it. All right, babes. I love you. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.